Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, we're taking a look at Skylanders Giants, new game from Toys for Bob and Activision. It comes out on Sunday, the 21st. Jeff Quirk's with me. Hello. Jeff, you're kind of my co-op buddy here. Yeah. We play all the Lego games together, Skylanders. Yeah, I feel like we have a real chemistry. With uh, E plus or E10 plus games. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so we're taking a look at the intro cutscene, which uh, we'll skip out of this in a little bit, but I just thought it was kind of cool because it has this little Toy Story-like vibe where they're in a toy store. Mm-hmm. And there's chaos. Reminding all the kids where to get their toys. Yes. Oh, Unfortunately, wait. they haven't made him into a toy yet. No. If I'm not mistaken, at the end of the last Skylanders, he was turned into a toy. And didn't a dog grab him and just start chewing on him and they were in Africa? Yes. Okay, so they don't really explain how he's in a... No. Okay. That's a lost chapter. Probably a novel that they'll release later. Little transmedia. There's all the toys you can ask your parents to buy for you. Oh, you don't want to ask. You just tell them... Give me now! Yep, yep. Fall on the floor. So, Jeff, you have all of them except for... Lightning Rod and Sunburst. Is that his name? The one that's in the Dragon's Peak? Sure. Yeah. We have I have all of them as well. I enjoyed collecting them. I love this this series. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I play it with uh, my wife, Kelly. We play co-op. And... Uh, yeah, she. I'll come home sometimes, and she'll just be leveling characters. Like, oh, she's that's just grinding. perfect. Glumshanks. Lord Chaos. Oh, I've been looking everywhere. And there's Glumshanks, his uh, hilarious butler, yep. who he uh, is not very kind to. And I didn't find the story in the first one to be. It was cute, but I didn't think it was very funny. Right. Uh, the humor was very much for kids. But this one has that Pixar quality where I was laughing at a lot of it, especially this guy here, Lord Chaos. Mm-hmm. So let's let's actually get let's, to it. Yeah. We'll leave the intro. We'll show you what happens. Or we won't show you what happens. You'll have to use your imagination or play the game and see for yourself. But let's just start this here. So giants, obviously, are the big new piece in this game. Right. The characters, the figurines, are twice the size of the normal Skylanders. And a little more than twice as expensive, too, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they will set you back a little bit more. There are eight giants in... The Giants game. Uh, one comes in the the starter kit, and that is Tree Rex. He's awesome. They picked a good one to put in the box. And we'll just skip this here too. And I'm gonna have one of the new Giants swarm. Jeff, who do you want? Surprise me. Right, let's let's see. I'm gonna give you a normal character. We're gonna give you a new uh, water type named Chill. All right. Oh, you need to join the game. Yep. Stay cool. I get it. All right, so here we are. You can see the size of my character. Uh, I could pick up boulders, which you cannot do. And the giants aren't really game changers. They do have new moves, but think of them as like the ninth class in the game, joining like Earth, Fire, Undead, Tech. Uh, they are. They can get to different areas that other Skylanders can't. Uh, and if you see a bomb wall, like a puzzle wall, where you need to get a bomb and throw it at the wall in a certain amount of time, a giant can just go right through that. Oh, good. So here, you can kind of punch through that. I could do that in one second. That's pretty impressive, but whatever. And so I'm going to create this portal here, which will get us a secret. Why don't you jump up there? Love to. And you can see how slow I kind of move. They're not good for uh, exploration. I would say you might want to switch to... Um, a different character type. I like the speedy dragons. Mm-hmm. Chill's pretty good too. You can interact with certain objects by pressing. So I'll show some right of his powers this. here. Um, I used him a little bit. He's at level four. He can turn into a swarm. Oh, nice. Which is pretty sweet. Voids attacks entirely, or how does that work? Uh, yeah, and then uh, he can kind of use the swarm as an attack. So this is what, like, this aspect of the game, one of my complaints from the first one, that if you're playing with a person who's a little bit on the younger side, they can really hold you back on those block-pushing puzzles by not standing in the right place. So they don't do any kind of split-screen thing here, do they? Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, no. this is a shared screen, okay. Bone jumping. Use your 
So a bunch of new enemy types, obviously, but they're all pretty familiar. I knew one day help would come, and here you are. Quickly. And all the same uh, supporting cast mm -hmm. and types of characters. I think that guy's got a new hat. Oh, uh, yeah. New hat. Yeah. There's tons of new hats hidden in levels. And that's my major complaint with the game is they didn't really... Yes, they added giants, a new character type, a new class. Mm -hmm. But you just push turtles again. Like those yeah. same exact turtles from the first game. Uh, you're collecting hats again. You have the element zones, you know, almost exactly the same where you have to have certain Skylanders go in there. You fight shadow versions of your, you know, the popular Skylanders characters. A lot of box moving puzzles that are just kind of mm -hmm. uh, just kind of wasting your time. They're not really puzzles. It's just, you know, yeah. something you have to labor through. Okay, yeah, just would like to see a little bit more variety. Like, yeah. I think the gameplay holds up fine. I think they have a formula for the future, you know, for many games ahead. But see, this is uh, this is yep. exactly what I'm talking yep, about. That's the tether. Yeah. And that's what the Lego games, that, that was a problem Lego games had at first, and then they figured yeah. out a cool split-screen uh, formula. So hopefully uh, hopefully they do the same for, for this series. Yeah. They should just lean over and look at Traveler's Tales paper and copy that. And uh, another collectible here is the figurine preview. Oh, yeah. A little advertisement. And uh, this is a new character, Shroom Boom. We don't have him here. I don't think he's out yet. And he looks pretty cool. I like that slingshot mm -hmm. move where he's slinging himself across the level. Yeah, this is that. Those videos are one of the more diabolical things about this series. It's like, yeah, here's something you can buy. Dad, I want this now. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have him. Here's another cool thing giants can do in certain places. Geronimo! So yeah, this is kind of a tutorial for giants, and uh, I can jump through these weak floors. Giant to leap down. I'm a giant. But again, it's just like using a different character class to yeah. reach a hidden zone, right? Oh no. Okay. And it has the obnoxious little green guy in the in the lock. Ugh. The exact same guy, same lock puzzles, and. Uh, we could keep playing. Let's fight these guys, and then I'm going to sh show you my game that I completed. Okay. I'll take you to the hub world, and I'll show you some new stuff there. Oh, cool. All the enemies in here to open this gate. Yeah, let's wreck these guys first. And I'm actually, Jeff, going to switch to someone else. Okay. I'll keep you safe in the meantime. All right, won't. Bouncer is awesome. Yeah. Reminds me of Clank a little bit, like when Clank would get all powered up mm -hmm. in Ratchet and Clank games. Uh oh. So we're playing the game. There's, They now have difficulty settings. We're playing on hard. And as you can see, it's not very hard so far. Um, I kind of cruised through the hard difficulty. And... Um, but was pleasantly surprised at the end, uh, they gave me kind of a new new game plus option where hey, you have chaos nightmare Skylander. difficulty. Mm. Just use those bounce pads. Does that seem Come significantly on. more difficult? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, uh, not significantly, but it, it was more of a challenge where I was losing Skylanders and it felt like it was geared more toward uh, my playing preferences. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wish it was available out of the gate. Yeah. But at the same time, it's cool. For people that want to keep leveling their characters uh for the returning characters the level cap is now up to um so that's another hidden zone you know just like the old game yep need life yeah so tree rex the guy that comes in the the game you can put him through that gate all right skylander that's the archean conquer tribe. but anyway as, as i was saying the uh the level cap in the first game was 10 levels mm -hmm. we've upped it to 15 and going from 10 to 15 takes a lot of time yeah uh so if you already maxed out like your dark spyro uh and he's your favorite character and you want to play as him in this you could use him for the majority of the game and not hit the cap oh dear that's good and bad like when you have like a big box full of these things correct Oof. All right, let's move on to... Let's cut here and move on to uh, my finished game. All right. All right, so this is the hub world. We're now on a ship, so it's not an island. 
You can walk right through crates. When you're and there's giant. all these little doors that take you to different areas, but I want to show you one thing up here first. There's right. this weird phonograph thing. This is just a small little touch. But if you listen... They kind of sing and say their name. It's just a fun thing. Tree Rex is great. You go ahead and do that. I can't... I think you need to get closer. No, he's singing. Oh. He just screams his name. All right. <laughs> is it it's kind of like that little guy from the last one who would have a little funny saying based on which character you were? Correct. Okay. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go here. Hold on. Oh, it's this guy up here. We just want to talk to him. It's so one of the new things in the game. Uh, there are arena challenges. Tough just because you defeated Chaos. Well, that doesn't impress me. Okay, so a little spoiler there. I defeated really Chaos. <laughs> Try to complete all my arena challenges. Yes. Oh, yeah. We members are very happy to have you as a competitor. Just pick an arena you want to compete in, and we can start kicking tails and taking names. He's, he's chatty. So there are three different types. You can see I did all seven of the first. Mm hmm. Um, but these play out like those Ratchet and Clank arenas, um, yeah. where it's just swarms of enemies coming at you. And, uh, Jeff, I'm going to hand you the controller and have you take on this one here. Oh, good. Who wants to start this battle up? You do! Mm-hmm. I am ready. Oh, we're both in here. Yeah. So you can do uh, co-op. You can do both both characters. That's cool. That'll make this easier. So these guys, you got to get behind them to take out their shields. Okay. And the giants can smash characters. That is for sure. But once these characters die, you can't swap in new... New Skyland. Oh, okay. So you can't just sit there and dig into your pile. Nice. This is a good place to get experience points. You can keep entering these. Oh, cool. So you're not, you don't have to just go into the levels over and over again. Correct. Hey, and I fell right off. That was awesome. Ooh. go so on hard these were these were uh -oh. a decent challenge and you may remember these types of sequences from the boss battles in the yes first game. those were awful boss battles play out similarly in this one yep oh, i can't spin like that only you can it looks fun I'm oh jealous. it's super fun it's the best thing to do in a game and now the crowd that loves us is going to shower us in food. Oh, good. I need that. Burgers. Cookies. And some Jim Riley's cookies. Green here. Burgers. Oh, yeah. So there's an achievement uh, or trophy uh, for beating all the arenas. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of them, too, so... Yep. Yeah, and they get tough, and I, I like these. I like the, the combat challenges. I think they did a good job on sculpting a, a fun combat experience. Yes, it's pretty much the same thing as the first game, but now you have new characters you can use. And it's... I'm addicted to leveling up. Yeah. No matter what game I'm playing, I'm always trying to level my guys up They're as much crates, as I can. Which, you know, you had me at that. Yep, smashable crates. Best game ever for smashing things, the Lego games. Spyro's up there. Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank is sure. way up there. Crash Bandicoot, that was always fun. Mm -hmm. Although you just got mangoes, that was kind of lame. Yeah, I think Ratchet in particular is great because... I'm just going to die here, Jeff, so we can back out here. Okay, I'll die too. All right, we're coming back to Flynn's ship, who is uh, once again voiced by the guy that did the tick. and Putty? A, yeah, Putty. What's his name? Richard Warburton or something like that? Patrick Warburton. Patrick Warburton. Yeah. That sounds right. Uh, there are now item shops in the game. 
where you can buy. Uh, there's a collectible card game. There's. Um, How's that? Is it pretty good? Yeah, I really like the card game. I thought. Uh, I like collecting things and having the collectibles actually go to something that's fun. Yeah, I love yeah, it when games do that. So, um, kind of want to skip his dialogue here. But oh man, I did that. Well, I think that's a pretty good look. I don't think we need to go into another level. But there's a lot of stuff to explore on the ship. Uh, a lot of collectibles that they didn't have in the other games. You know, it's kind of like got that that vibe of the old. Um, Old PS1 and PS2 platformers, you know, mm -hmm. obviously Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet, where um, collecting stuff gives you, you know, these are powers that I've added to the game that give me bumps, bonuses, um, where you can go into the levels and try to get 100%, do speed runs in them, just that kind of lost art of uh, that you don't see in games, that, those challenges yeah. that I really like. But uh, thanks for joining me, Jeff. Obviously, Absolutely. I think you're going to be... Spending a lot of money on these <laughs> again. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to jump back into it again. I ended up giving it a 8 out of 10. And, um, yeah, the my only concern is franchise fatigue, which Activision is very good at. Uh, I hope they change things up a little bit more next time. Maybe no turtles. Oh, boy, that'd be great. But thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time.